So I, you know, I feel like I'm H. A. Goodman right now. H. <laughs> A. Goodman spends most of his time telling you how right he was. H. A. Goodman, right? Yeah, you fucking right. Oh, I said that Hillary Clinton would be indicted, and I just said uh, right. So listen. So True Pundit is reporting, right? Here's here's the th- here's where I'm right, right? I've always said that the left, the alt left. Whatever that means, not the pink pussy hat people, but the 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 true uh, what was in 2016 called progressive people, right? People who believed in uh, in Bernie Sanders and the idea of a new deal, get money out of politics, you know, raise the minimum wage, okay, free you know universal single payer health care, free college tuition at city and state universities, that sort of stuff, right? That is what I consider the left, and on the right was. People who were adamantly supporting Trump and the 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 make the make America great again theme. We're going to do that. We're going to make America great again. The wall got ten feet higher, right? Th- that that crowd, right? All right. So that's that's what I what I've always said is that those two communities are now together because they're starting to see that the enemy is not. It's not. It's not liberal ideas, you know. It's not uh, far-right religious uh, ideology. It's none of those things. It's economics, right? That's where that's where we we would we still disagree, and um, that's the focus of my work right now is to try to make you understand that it's oligarchy that is one step above our politics and our constitution right now. It's a handful of billionaires and corporations that are controlling the narrative and and treating us like goddamn fools, right? So here's a here's a piece. It, it this is not news, right? It's news for true pundit and it's news for the for the Trump supporters because because when Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton were battling it out the Trump people weren't interested in that because they thought of themselves as Republicans they they were watching the news the news was running round the clock that Sanders was a socialist they were they were smearing him at, with the S word and 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 Bernie wasn't any wasn't helpful in calling himself a democratic socialist the word socialist and socialism triggers that that old world idea of of propaganda and 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 you know you're going to be eating your pets and and every and people that don't follow what was going along they didn't know that bernie had an economic message to 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 offer a new deal that's what got everybody so riled up that's why people were interested not because he was some nice old man giving away candy <laughs> right free stuff so anyway true pundit it, true pundit, true pundit, right? I love Thomas Paine. I love true pundit. This is not a bash on true pundit, but true pundit, we are identical. My view from, I guess, what you would call the left, and and true pundit, what I guess we would call the right, is it's identical right now. We all believe in in weeding out the corruption, in 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 um in in justice, in the in the enforcement division, CIA, FBI, right? You know, bringing, restoring, restoring uh, the, the, the rule of law in our country. We all agree on that. Where we disagree is the economics, where true pundit and, and that, that old school Trump idea of trickle down economics, those are failed policies. And that's where we, that's where we disagree, right? That's where we disagree. And that's where the Sanders faithful, I'll tell you about it. <clears throat> Uh, were 100 percent are are still 100 percent crystal clear and our vision is panning out and your vision is failing so pay attention so top government spooks and and hacks i'm reading from true pundit the link is down below uh and hackers on the fbi's payroll dnc computer breach linked to bernie sanders not hackers this is this is not news, right? See, here's I'm not going to read because I I know the story. I don't have to read the goddamn story, right? What happened was Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are running in a primary, right? You remember that? Do you remember that, right? And and Hillary Clinton and, and all of her cronies, all of the, the, the you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, all the cronies inside of the DNC were colluding with CNN and MSNBC to smear Bernie Sanders and elevate Hillary Clinton. And all along they were saying that they were nonpartisan, partisan, they don't cheat, they don't have any opinion. 
but they did. They did and they did and they did and, and, and ultimately we found out in explicit detail in their own words in the DNC uh, emails, right? But while the while the DN while Hillary Clinton not only that, but they were they were stealing Bernie's money, right? They were saying, you know, to the Bernie supporters, donate to the DNC for down ballot candidates. Give when you give to Bernie, you, you know, and give to the DNC, it's gonna go for down ballot candidates. They took all that money. They took 99.9% of that money and gave it to Hillary Clinton to defeat Bernie Sanders. They were actually telling Bernie people to, to give to that, that idea so that they can be defeated themselves. They're giving money to defeat them. It was so ridiculous, right? And the, people were, the Bernie people were paying attention. So that's what it was. It was an inside job. Now, read the details in this article. He, he talks about it. Amy Darcy was the... CEO of the uh, DNC f f uh, from 2014 to 2016. And look, this is this story, right, of people that were working inside of the DNC were split. There was Bernie supporters. They were they were there was a there was a primary going on. Right. They were Bernie supporters. All young people, uh, you know, wanted to see their candidate. And Hillary Clinton, you know, the corporate tools were in there trying to fucking monkey wrench it because they were taking the money, right? The usual. So so what happened was you've, you've got this vigorous uh, primary going on and half of, the, half of the staff is Bernie Sanders supporters, probably more. And they were seeing the corruption. They, was, they saw it all. And in a moment of, uh, a moment of I don't know. It, it, True Pundit is now pointing to this, this, but we already we already knew this about the Jeep. The, what is it? GPN van or something? There was some kind of data, N, NPG van database and other proprietary information. Blah blah blah. Right? Look, they they all had access to the DNC computers, right? They had access, right? Because they were working on campaigns. It was supposed to be a nonpartisan nobody's in favor of the other so they all had access and the and and the files somehow got commingled put together and for a good period of time the bernie sanders supporters had access to the database right and in amy darcy's own words they knew that that they, look amy darcy the next step is to continue to investigate the incident with the help of the independent auditors dnc is currently being and that's not what she said none of this is disputable it's fully documented in the system logs that 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 someone that the that they had access that the bernie people had access and this the the clinton people had access this is nothing new right and and so and four months before the dnc declared it a, a hack by the russians this had already occurred right and then that in that four month period rather than the dnc calling the fbi and having calling law enforcement right to come in and 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 catch the, the dirty russians to, <laughs> right? they, they 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 didn't they call they hired their own firm called crowdstrike right and that's where the the the, the fictitious russian character guccifer was born guccifer 2.0 right they made up this guy right it was a it was a, a footprint placed inside of the already totally totally debunked system to create the illusion that it was a russian right so that, that it's it's a that's a fake story the actual leak occurred four months before the fbi uh before the dnc declared it a hack right this story is the biggest story was it seth rich it could have been right people see the, the thing about it is people know who did it the people that were there at the dnc they know who did it but what happened to seth rich he's fucking dead the kid is dead or is he dead was he disappeared what what definitely didn't happen to him is he definitely didn't get gunned down on the street in dc the way they said he did so the fact that he was disappeared is very very scary i mean if you're a young person working inside the dnc and and suddenly your your friend that that you know is is touting yeah we we dumped Podesta's emails to WikiLeaks, right? And and suddenly he's dead. Right? That's that's who your government is. That's who the DNC is. That's who Hillary Clinton is. That's what we were trying to tell you the whole time. 
Now, notice up until this point, there's no talk about Trump, right? Trump has nothing. The, the idea that Trump had something to do with any of this is ridiculous. It was the, it was the, 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 the insurgent left pushing Hillary Clinton out of the box. They had the numbers. They had the people. They had the support. They had the money. All they didn't have was the crooked people inside counting the votes. That's all they didn't have. And that's, that's you know, the super delegates and such. So if you want to solve the Mueller investigation, if you want to solve the, the, the mystery of collusion within the media, creating a false narrative of Russia, 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 if you want to solve the, the, the Seth Rich murder, if you want to solve the, 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 uh, the conspiracy of, of the oligarchy holding the American people down with lies and mis, misconception, that the, if you want to understand why the corporate media is paid to tell you a bullshit story like Russia when the facts are right in front of their face, right? This is the story to look at. Because it all started here. It all started with, with, a, with an honest broker, Bernie Sanders, running against the crooked, corrupt Hillary Clinton. Right? The, 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 deal, the problem is this, is that, again, when Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton were running head to head, half of the country wasn't paying attention to it because they were watching Trump, the entertainer on TV, destroy you know, Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, he, he was making them look like jerk offs, right? <laughs> it was funny. I watched it. I mean, that was some of the, the greatest political satire in the history of America, where with Trump standing in between Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, talking about his, you know, talking about his hand size and his dick. I mean, it was, it, I, I get it, right? But while that was going on, the, the, inst the, the, the Bernie Sanders faithful were, were exposing massive corruption. Now, it also ties into Julian Assange is, a, is innocent. Julian Assange is not colluding with, with Russia. And he's, he, he was one of us. He was watching this saying, yes, there is corruption. Look at this. Look, at the, look how they're rigging elections. On and on and on. And so he became the, the outlet of choice for the the, the, the Bernie Sanders supporters inside of the DNC to do the dump because they knew that he would be honest and he would reveal it. And the way Julian Assange released it was brilliant. He, he released it in pieces all the way up to the election to Trump. Now, is that... See, the Trump people can say, look, he's trying to derail Trump. But he's not trying to derail Trump. He's trying to expose the corruption, the... The, the corruption of that is the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation and the way the operation was working, that it was all quid pro quo. It was not about the will of the people. The will of the people was clearly in favor of Bernie Sanders and a new deal for America where we would bring the oligarchy down to size, break up the banks, raise the corporate tax rate, and all the things in my platform. You can read them if you want. I'm running for the Senate, for Senate as well. right? That's what, that's what the whole thing was about. Right. But but the, again, the Trump people perceived it as a as an attack on Trump. And then the, the Hillary Clinton campaign in collusion with the corporately owned media attacked Trump and 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 tried to make it seem like he was a Russian spy and a Russian agent to bring him down so that they can win the election. And when they lost, they just perpetrated it. They kept they kept it going to cover this story right here. The story of the of the century is that the DNC lied and cheated and and ripped off their own people, stole an election in the United States of America, right? They stole it from Bernie Sanders, with a Pie Piper strategy that they thought they could beat Bernie, they can beat Trump, and they lost, right? So, to true pundit, good job. Two years late. Thank you very much for your for your fine work here and bringing it, bring this to into the mind stream now that, that see, this is the Trump people. I, I know I, this is the, the, the audiences are mixed now, but if you're watching this and you support Trump, don't think that I don't support Trump. I, I support the truth. I'm on the side of the truth. And at that moment, Bernie Sanders, not the person, but the idea of a new deal for America was the right way to go. And guess what? It still is the right way to go. It's your crowd that needs to understand that, that Trump is on a, a collision course 
with the oligarchy. He's not going to win. You're not going to somehow, you know, rearrange the way the oligarchy works and the way these large monopolized corporations operate. You're not going to do that. You have to tax them, bring them back down to size and, and have that money stay in the American economy and stimulate it. And, and you, that's how you... That's how you stimulate an economy. That's how you give back to the people. It's not free. It's yours. The, 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 poli- the publicly traded companies in this country are, are public. They're public. They're your, it's, they make the decision to become public. It's your money, the shareholders, right? right? Publicly traded, okay? If you have an IRA, then, you're, then you're, 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 you're right. you have a right to, to, to navigate that stuff as well. So uh, read the article. Mm, all right. uh, Marcus Conti, prophet, <laughs> opinionist, uh, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace out.